Good day, everyone. The Sacred Heart Griffin baseball team set their goals for the season, one of which to get to state. Well, that mission accomplished. For the first time since 2005, the Cyclones are playing on the final weekend of the season. SHG feeling loose before the game on a cloudy Monday afternoon against Mascuda. Top of the sixth inning, SHG down 1-0. Steve Sartori with an RBI single to left field. Mitch Trees comes in to score on the play to tie the ball game up at one apiece. Now Mascuda led it 2-1. We go to the seventh. Connor White bloops a single into shallow center. Cal Elvers comes in to score to make it a 2-2 contest. Later in the inning, two on for Mitch Trees, and he hits one down the right field line. The go-ahead three-run home run for Sacred Heart Griffin. They're excited. They're celebrating because they're headed to Joliet for State after a 5-2 super sectional victory. No, he just told me relax and go up there and do your thing, you know. Don't, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just do what you've been doing all year. Another hit. Uh, just get a hit, keep it going. Um, you know, I'm not thinking anything's flying out of here today. Mitch has hit some balls to right field this year, but nothing like that when that was beautiful. SHG takes on Grays Lake Central Friday at Silver Cross Field. That's a noon first pitch. On a softball diamond, the Glenwood Titans entered uh, Monday with a win away from wrapping up the season at the state finals. The Lady Titans dealing with a Titan of a task. Solving one of the state's best pitchers in the circle, Columbia's Brianna Wilbacher, who came into Monday with a 29-1 record. The future Iowa State Cyclone, a .57 ERA. To Mad Toon we go for Monday's Super Sectional. Top of the fourth inning, Allison Long in the batter's box here with a runner on. Hits an RBI single down the third base line. Maddie Torrey comes in to score from second. Titans would take a one to nothing lead. The NBA would add to that total. To the sixth we go, Titans up 2-0. Katie Hudson hits a double to deep right center field. Abby Burton comes in to score to make it 3 to nothing in favor of Glenwood. To the seventh we go. And Columbia having some issues in the outfield. The defense allowing the blooper to fall. Sammy Long scores on the play. Glenn Wood celebrating a super sectional plaque. They shut out Columbia five to nothing. This game we were more like prepared to play. We were better ready for that pitcher. She throws fast. So obviously, we like prepared for her, and we just we spent a lot of time uh, working towards like getting ready for this game. Before the game, I said, you know, I think the softball guys are spying on us a little bit too. The wind's blowing in again, so. Uh, and that helped, you know, but hey, you still got to play and it's pretty amazing. The, the bats that we were able to have and the pitches Bree was able to make and some of the plays we made, I mean, that's what you're looking for this time of year. Glenwood takes on St. Ignatius Prep Friday morning at 10 a.m. at Eastside Center. More baseball for you, Lorraine County paying a visit to the Springfield Sliders. Dane Sauer at the plate, lines a single into right field. That would play the run for the sliders, and they were getting on the scoreboard early. Later, it's Drew Harper in the batter's box, and he hits a chopper to third base. Harp gets the benefit of the call at first base. He's called safe. That's another run for the sliders. However, the sliders another rough evening at home. 